Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Sabans. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, I am super, super hyped because we're going to be talking about the New York Knicks. But before we even get into that, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. Also, we got a survey uh, that we would love you guys to fill out. It's, it's only going to take you five minutes, and you have an opportunity. We're going to pick 10 people to win a $35, a $30 gift card. Uh, from amazon so definitely participate in that we just appreciate you guys fill it out we'll take only a few minutes and just leave your email at the end of the survey uh to let us know and we'll contact you at the end of this month so please make sure you go ahead and do that we appreciate that anyway let's go ahead and talk about it let's go ahead and talk about this may be the first video we done produce at the new york knicks this year god damn it now some of y'all may be sitting there talking why is he why are you talking about the knicks why are you talking about the knicks why are you so hype about the knicks well for those of you who may not know, I was born in Washington, D.C., Maryland, but I did grow up in New York City, went to junior high in New York, went to high school. I lived in the Bronx. My my high school, my high school was still there. P.S. 37. That was my high school. Then I mean, my, my, my junior high Then my high school was art and design. Some of you may know Fab went there. Jay Mills went there. I think Mark Jacobs went there. Uh, maybe Calvin Klein went there. I could be wrong, but. You know, it was an art school, right? So grew up there. Then later on, moved to Yonkers. Some of y'all know Yonkers, kind of upstate, kind of New York, kind of, or whatever. I remember my friends coming up to visit me a few times. They used to they used to crack on me. I think one day they came to visit me. I think some of them from Brooklyn and other areas. They came to visit me one day. The only reason they came to visit me in Yonkers was just to laugh at how far I stayed. I stayed from them because I used to still go to school, uh, art and design from from Yonkers. So, you know, I, you know, I'm, I, I consider myself a New Yorker. You know, that's why I had a lot of my fights. Got a lot of my uh, sensibilities from, and I love New York, right? I love New York. Although right now I don't know what the hell is going on with New York with the governance and all that stuff. But um, you know, I had a lot of friends there. Still Still keep in contact with a few people from New York and Marco, the co-founder of Dreamers Pro. He, he lived in New York, for, I think, for like a year or two. And he loves New York. Right. He's always trying to convince me to move back to New York and all that. So New York has a special uh, place in my heart. And growing up in New York, one thing you know is that New Yorkers are big fans of basketball. Like they really, really mess with basketball. Like for real. Basketball is a real thing in New York with the Rucker Park and all that. It's something that's part of the, you know, it's part of the culture. So whenever the Knicks are doing well, I personally feel good for the city of New York, right? Because they love the Knicks. They love basketball. And even when their team is not doing well, they still show up and support. That's the reason why the Madison Square Garden always sells out. You have the, which they call it one of his monikers, the most, the world's most famous arena. So what happened? Going into these playoffs, the Knicks were the number two seed with Jalen Brunson. Let me see who they got on their roster. I don't follow them. I don't follow them too well, but I know they got Josh Hart, OG, and, and Anobi. Who they got from? Uh, who was uh, in the trade that they got from the Toronto Raptors? Uh, Isaiah Hartenstein. He's a solid big man for them. Uh, Jalen Brunson, who was a bad boy, used to play with the Dallas Mavericks. He's you know some people feel like he he was snubbed uh, for the USA Olympic team. Boban Bogdanovich, um, Miles uh, Mc, uh, McBride, and they have some other pieces there. Julius Randle who got injured is not even playing in this series. So going into this series, um, I personally picked the Knicks to beat, uh, what is it, the, the Philadelphia 76ers. Even with Joel Embiid and Maxi and all of these guys, I picked them to win, with Kelly Oubre and all of them, I picked them to, to win that series. I think I picked them to win that series in seven games when we did the prediction uh, video. But unfortunately, I only caught towards the tail end of that game because I had to go to the hospital, wasn't feeling well. So by the time I got home, it was only like a minute and a half left. I got home pretty, pretty late. Uh, so that's when I really started catching the, what is it, the Lakers, the Lakers Nuggets series and I saw that the Knicks were up and I saw and I saw excuse me that Josh Hart was hitting some very big buckets at the end of that game and you could just see the elation from the crowd of how happy they were you know for their New York Knicks to be doing good so I was super hyped so I I tune in towards the end of the game and I see that they you know they Josh Hart and these guys hit a big you know hit some pretty big shots at the end of the game to win that game 111 and 104 against the Philadelphia 76ers. And Joel Embiid, he did play well, although he had a kind of scary moment in that game. He finished the game with 29 points, eight rebounds, six assists. Kelly Oubre uh, chipped in 10 points as well to go uh, one or two from the three-point line. Kyle Lowry had 18 points. Uh, Tyrese Maxey had 33 points in that game, and he also hit some pretty big shots down the stretch. But if you look at it on the Knicks side, what makes it more impressive is the Knicks didn't really get a lot of scoring from a lot of places, but the places that they did get those sc the scoring from uh, th those guys really play well. One guy in particular, Miles uh, McBride, he scored 21 points in that game. I believe he came off the bench. His plus minus 
was 37 plus 37 uh, in that game, he shot 58% from the field. He got you four assists, three re uh, rebounds. Bo, uh, Bo <laughs> Bogdanovich, I can't pronounce his name right now. He scored 13 points. Those are huge. Jalen Brunson, he didn't shoot well from the floor. He only shot 30.8%. He went, what, eight out of 26 from the field. He scored 22 points. But nevertheless, he was aggressive. And Josh Hart, who also didn't shoot well. But the Knicks aren't really a high-powered offense anyway to begin with. They're more defensive-minded team. He scored 22 big points, and he made four out of his eight threes. And OJ Ananobi also hit a pretty big three. And I just got to be honest with you guys, man. It feels good to see the New York Knicks do good. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to keep it real with you. It feels good. I actually have the Knicks going all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. I think I have them facing. Who do I have them facing? Uh, in round two, I did a prediction show. I had them beating the Knicks and uh, excuse me, the Sixers and seven. Then I got them playing the Pacers and I got the Knicks beating the Pacers in seven as well. I got the Knicks. Be I don't know what Julius Randle's status is in terms of when he's going to come back, but I have them beating the Pacers as well. And then I got them going to the Eastern Conference Finals to go play against the Boston Celtics. And I think that's where they lose. I think they're going to lose to the Boston Celtics in uh, seven games. Uh, excuse me, in six games, and I think the Celtics are going to go to the finals. But if the Knicks uh, somehow find a way to make it to the NBA finals, man, nobody's going to be more excited than me. Because I'm going to be really, really happy to see New York do, do, uh, do good, man. Because the last time they were competitive was when they had Carmelo Anthony, and that was a very, very long time ago. It was, what, 2013, maybe 14, 13, around that time. Uh, so to see them have a competitive team, uh, Tom Thibodeau and those guys put out a good product. You know, I expect Jalen Brunson and these guys to play a little bit better uh, in, 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 in the upcoming games in this, in this series. You know, I think sky's the limit for the Knicks, man. And I think it's good to have New York do well, for God's sakes. Like, when was the last time the Knicks did well? So, I'm rooting for the Knicks. I don't know how many views this video is going to get. I'm just doing this video based off of the, 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 the love and the passion and the support for the New York uh, fan base, man. I, I'm very, very happy to see the New York Knicks do well. And I hope they do well. Uh, and I hope they make it very, very far. Hell, if the Knicks made it to the finals, I won't be mad at all. You know, good for them. Let let, let them do well. Let them get their let let them get their chance, right? Because New York is a very big market, and I think it's also good for the NBA, man. Because Knicks fans, they really, really support basketball. So these are my thoughts. You guys, let me know what you thought about that game one against the Philadelphia 76ers, and most importantly, uh, let me know how far you think the Knicks will go these playoffs. And finally. Let me know if you think that the Knicks can shock the world and make it to the finals if they're able to get back Julius Randle. I don't know what Julius Randle, uh, I don't know what his injury status is. Let me see if I could just pull it up. Ju or was it Julius Randle uh, injury? Let me just see injury. Let me just see what they're saying about him. Um, Julius Randle to have season ending so uh, shoulder uh, surgery. So he's not coming back. Right, he's not uh, coming back. So let's see. Right, we can be hopeful. A ball can bounce this way, the other way. You never know. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments, and we catch you on the next show. Peace.